Hi, David here. Okay, so um, I want to have a quick tip for you. I want to show you something that I, I, I kind of find quite interesting uh, uh, lately uh, when you're writing code, right? So I use, I'm building this little app, right? So you can basically uh, go on the Hackages Learning Platform and you're gonna find that app there and learn yourself how to, to, to build it. And I have put some plugins in there uh, and one of the things you see here at the top, just gonna make it bigger. It's basically, I'm importing use effect, use state, and change event right there at the top. And then um, this thing is complaining, it's saying that hey, import change event is only used as a type. What the hell does that mean? It's imported, so let it be there, right? But actually, if you look at it, it's saying that use effect, well, it's a function that you're gonna call use state, it's a function you're gonna call and change event, it's also, uh, it's, oh no, well, it's not a function. And actually that is something really interesting is, in your import export, you can make a difference between importing a function or anything, um, uh, uh, an, uh, an object, um, or, or whatever things, but you can make a difference between that and importing or exporting a type, right? So the way I'm going to do that here, I'm just going to go and say, um, uh, let's remove everything until here, right? And then I can say, hey, this one, you import it this way so I can remove that, right? So look, that solved the problem, right? Solve basically the problem, the, the, that little error there is gone. But actually, um, you can even do that in a, in a different way. You can say uh, here, can go here and say hey that thing here is a type right I put it before if you put it right before you're basically listing everything inside as a type right here I'm basically saying that only that thing here is a, is a type right since I can do it this way I can actually go here and say hey pass the change event right here this way so I don't have to do it this way right so that's a little tip for you right there and um, you can the same, you can go all the way here and say, hey, I'm going to export uh, a type, and then you can uh, declare, for example, a type that, like, let's go here and then say that, right? Have, I'm exporting a type that has a property, uh, a, a type book, and I, I'm exporting it this way, right? So because you can do it that way, you can then import it on the other side with that same import, right? That's it. That's a tip for you. Bye.